to a great president, history officers, fellow toastmasters, and guests. Yay! Uh, today, I'm going to share with you three moments of madness in my life. The first one, which I call from A to B, happened when I was in primary school. In so primary school, when I enrolled in primary school, they had to grade you on the results, which means bad students go to the A class, not so good students, B class, and worst performing students, to the C class. So when I enrolled in primary school, primary one, I was assigned one B, which was fine, not an issue at all. At the end of my first year, I got my results, and I see, oh, not too bad. My mom was happy because I got to a 2A class. Wow. I was exactly a great student, but I did not enough to stay in A class. And that went on for the next year, to 3A, to 4A, to 5A, and back, 6B. <laughs> oh. Anybody guess what happened? From the girls. <laughs> <laughs> I'm doing my school is an all boys school. Oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> <laughs> and so what happened was, mine was a boys school. <laughs> Namely, it's a girls school, all girls school. Oh. And they decided to merge at a P5 year. Oh. So what happened then that now there are three times boys and three classes of girls. And guess who they give the A, B, C classes to? Boys and girls. 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 So I got into a 6 D class. Oh. And guess what happened? Now this time around when I bring my results book to my mom, I was shivering in here. 6 D. What did my mom say? All this year she'll be getting A. Mom saw it, she was furious. She was really kidding me. What happened to your results? Why a D class and not an A class? I had a hard time explaining to her what was the reason behind it. Somehow, I managed to convince her and escape the pain. But I remember at the time, what made me mad was really those girls. Those girls really made me really mad. Who's getting a pain? Let's move on to the next story, the second one. Which I call, Mind My Holes and Peace. Which some of you may know is a play on the word, Mind Your Peace and Cues. And that was in secondary school. So I can guess, you can guess what the O's mean, the O levels. And what does P mean for me then? The P's, humility. <laughs> <laughs> nice guess, my word of humility. It was for me, play time and play things. Because I had a lot of interest in chasing spiders, catching, catching spiders. So it's catching, uh, catching. <laughs> Again, I was in a boys' school, in secondary school. But I, I do enjoy a lot of games with my friends and I was neglecting my studies. What happened was, I didn't do so well in my O levels. Which meant, I had a dream at the time to actually go to Polytechnic and sign the Navy and go for OCS and have a nice career with the sun, the sand and the sea. But that did not happen because I beat badly in my O's. I couldn't get into Polytechnic. And I was so mad at myself for not doing it, not studying hard when I needed to. However, there's a silver lining. Later on in life, I realized that because I did not do well at my old levels, I went a different route and I did something I liked computing and I went to UK to study. Wow. Which I think I would not have done it if I had done well at my old levels and went to a local university. Now, the third, the third story and my last story, which I call it as Dance Like No One's Watching. <laughs> How many times have you all actually planned for an event with friends and later on all your friends are not interested, they didn't show up and you couldn't go ahead with it and you have to cancel the event? How many of you? Only one. <laughs> so the rest of you are very lucky. Your friends will actually go with you every mile and go every single way. No, I don't know. We got there. So I had times so when I had more clothes when I planned for events. I had times when I wanted to join a physical activity, but all my friends would say, no, I wasn't free, I was busy, I didn't spend time with my boyfriend, I didn't spend time with my girlfriends. At the end of the day, I did not go ahead and do it. And there was a time also when I met a group of friends, we had so much fun at the time. We enjoyed ourselves tremendously. And the second year, I was planning to do it again, and I was so enthusiastic about it. I was ready to go. I was calling all my friends, hey, let's do it again. And somehow all my friends rejected me. At the time, I got very mad at my friends. I had high 
expectation of having the same kind of fun again. But it did not happen. They don't realize the problem does not lie with them. The problem was with me. My expectations. What I wanted them to do. So it's back to the word about dance like nobody's watching. Sometimes you just have to go ahead, not only dream about it, plan about it, you just have to do it with or without friends. Yeah. Is that a 